As I look at this, you know, sometimes churches get frustrated with me because I don't come and say, hey, this, this here is the number, right? And I think that's going to be an ongoing recurring theme unless, and I don't know, Josh might have the number for all of us. I hope he does. Um, but as, as we look at it, what we encourage churches to do is to be as, as generous as you possibly can while at the same time being good stewards of the money that you're entrusted with. But we, at, we encourage our churches to, to really think through three different things when, they, when they're developing a philosophy of how they're going to compensate people. Um, we want our pastors and our ministry staff to be able to model generosity for the rest of the congregation. And so what, what does this look like? You know, typically your children's pastor, your youth pastor, a campus pastor, whenever Girl Scout cookie times come, come around, they're going to be hit up by everybody that's, that's in Girl Scouts. Um, same, you know, every summer when, when kids are starting to go and, and fundraise for mission trips, they're going to be hit up. And so one of the things that we encourage churches to do is keep in mind that we want people, we want your pastors to be able to, you know, maybe not say yes to everybody, but at the same time, not be fleeing as soon as service is over because they see the Girl Scout cookie, you know, lady coming after them again. Yeah. We, we want them to be able to say yes, um, you know, as, as much as is appropriate within your congregation. And so we want them to be able to lead out in some generosity initiatives. We want them to be able to model for the rest of the congregation what it's like to hold, you know, those resources loosely. Um, second piece kind of fits in that. We, we want to minimize stress in a pastor's family. Now, you know, we know that one of the biggest stressors in a marriage is, is finances, right? We also know that we did not go into ministry in order to make, you know, seven or eight figures, right? Um, we, we just, we just didn't. Um, but at the same time, we need to, we need to craft a salary package that, you know, isn't ex extravagant, but at the same time, you know, allows people to be able to live in the area that, that your church is located. It, it, it's mindful of the cost of living and isn't going to have people, you know, constantly stressing when it comes to the way that the bills, you know, bills are paid at the end of the month. And so, you know, we want to be able to minimize that stress as, as much as we possibly can. And, and one thing just to kind of keep in mind to those of you that are on a board or something like that, we as pastors, we generally make dumb decisions about salary packages. Um, when, when a package is offered to us, that might be 20 grand, you know, less than what we really need. We start to think, well, I can, I can do that. You know, I don't need shoes. Um, they're really not that important. You know, we, we start to rationalize things for the sake of the gospel. And so we, I encourage those in senior leadership in a church just to kind of file that away and help to minimize, minimize stress as much as possible. Then the last thing that we encourage churches to do is you want to be able to enable connections. And so what, what does that mean? So in your neighborhood, if, if Saturday morning or Sunday, you know, I guess Sunday afternoon now, kids sports is one of the big gathering places where people go, you want to be able to have your pastors, you know, if their kids want to be in football or soccer or whatever, be able to do that. You want them to be able to live, you know, relatively close to the communities that you're serving so that people can be a recognizable face. You want them to be able to, to maybe go out, um, you know, once a week, a couple times a month, have dinner out in public so that they can bump into people and have regular conversations so that you can say, oh, there's, there's our pastor. Um, that kind of thing serves your church well. Um, and if you're able to, to enable them to, to go out and have those connections, cool things can kind of pop out of that for, for your church.